Hi guys, we're gonna get a little deep today. I originally came up with this video idea uh, talking about like seven or so beauty like habits that I've changed that I guess I'm, I'm like deeming them as bad but I don't want this to be a shame filled video. So it's more that they weren't what I was necessarily wanting but they were beauty habits I was doing and that I've changed. And I feel like the change is twofold. Like one, the actual change is coming from like the action but a lot of these actions to make that happen have like a deeper root and I feel like I've been working on that a lot in the last year and a half or so in my personal life and just trying to deal with life has been difficult but there's been a lot of growth in it as well and I thought I would share some of these with you and I hope that it will be a fruitful conversation. I've been open about my mental health in the past with you guys so um, I wanted to do this. I feel like some of this seems maybe really simple or kind Kind of feels a little embarrassing in some ways but I want to be open about it because I know that other people out there struggle and I want you to know you're not alone and I hope this video can maybe be helpful I know when I watch other people or see other people uh, doing things it can be that little boost to, to help me make a better choice that day or to try to you know figure out some stuff and get to some root problems so that I can work on building myself up better and work on true self-care in a way that's really giving and loving and not brutal in any way. Like gentle change that is really truly life-giving if that makes sense. I know that's like a lot of words, but I do want to kind of give a little bit of that warning. We're going to be talking about mental health as well as beauty stuff here. That is the true thing of the video. Like at first I thought this would just be like fun. And then I was like getting into topics. I'm like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Just a little warning. I'm going to try to still keep it overall lighthearted, but I just want to kind of preface some of these topics because if you don't struggle with your mental health, then some of these might be like, what girl? But for some of us, it is really tough. Some of these things are really tough and some of them are a little bit lighter. Some of them are a little bit different. We're just going to get into them, but I hope you guys will enjoy the video and I'd love to hear any of your thoughts. So first I want to start off with just sunscreen. Okay. I did not wear a lot of sunscreen until recently. I know, I know. I feel a little ashamed about it and I don't want the internet coming for me, okay? I'm doing sunscreen now, but it's been a struggle to get into sunscreen. I've never been uh, into it. I've never really been into lotions in general. I never liked the texture. I never liked the smell. It's just always been a struggle my whole entire life. And only until recently, I've been getting outside more. I've been really making it a point to walk and move my body. If you follow me on Instagram, then y'all know. But I really wanted just get out there in the sun and just outside of my house it's a really nice grounding moment we don't need to get all into it but with that has come the need for sunscreen I'm like I'm getting burnt here like I can't do this and so it's forced me in a lot of ways to really figure out sunscreens and if you are in a similar boat I know there has to be other people I cannot be alone in this okay you can stay anonymous because I know people get up in arms about the sunscreen but I just want to let you guys know that Sunscreen has come so far, you can do this. I know it's tough, but just little by little, you can wear sunscreen too. <laughs> I've talked about the glow screen. That has been really helpful. I really love this for my walk specifically or anytime I'm not wearing makeup. Although I've really been able to make it work under makeup lately. Not right after I put it on, but this has been really helpful. There are so many K-Beauty, J-Beauty sunscreens that are out there. I'm still testing a lot. I've just been like, trying as many sunscreens as possible because I really want to find the ones that work for me. I want to encourage myself to use sunscreens. I want to have sunscreen available at all times just to really uh, drive that habit home. I feel like a running theme you'll see throughout this is that a lot of these things feel like a big to do or I have an aversion to them for one reason or another and just kind of slowly and gently but firmly in a lot of ways, um, you know, trying to get myself to do these things and then creating that habit has been so helpful. So um, those have been great. I like the e.l.f. one as well. And then I also have been liking this vacation one because it smells like, I don't know, just like a vacation. It really does. It's so good. Um, this has been more the like spray one that I've been using, but just in general, sunscreens have come so far. So if you have that same aversion, if you're not using sunscreen, I encourage you from someone who also has had issues with it 
to try different ones out and see if you can find one that works for you. So sunscreen has been a big game changer for me and it's definitely kind of shaken up my routine in a lot of ways, but in a good way. And I've really uh, enjoyed it and I'm glad that I'm taking it more serious as well as making a point to put it on even though it's hard for me. It's something that is a hard thing, but I have been enjoying the benefits from it nonetheless. And that's a running theme as well with this. A few things that kind of tie into mental health the next topic here, I want to talk about just showering more regularly. And I don't want to say this as in I didn't shower and I smelled bad. Like it was nothing like that. I just didn't shower every day. And I don't think you need to shower every day if you don't feel the need to do that. But I realized that I was having a little bit more of an aversion to showering than I wanted to. And I always felt like after a shower, I this was the thought I always had. Like, man, I should do that more. <laughs> like, wow, that wasn't... Um, um, as bad as I thought and I'm like wait why did I think it was bad I didn't even realize how much I really wasn't wanting to shower and that was part of the reason why and so I found some ways to really enjoy my shower now using different beauty products I don't think we need to get into the waist scrub anymore but just any scrub in general like that was something I didn't really like before and now I'm like oh my gosh I love body scrubs I love body washes I love just trying different textures and smells and just having this really nice self-care moment in the shower and thinking about it that way um, has really helped me again get into the habit of taking showers more kind of changing my mindset about what a shower is it's not just this like task and chore but it is something that in some ways can be work but I always get such a great benefit I always feel so clean I feel so refreshed and kind of renewed after a shower and those things feel so great and I feel like not every shower has to be a big to do where you do the whole routine but again kind of building up to getting in the shower more often and reaping those benefits has helped me kind of remove that initial aversion that I was having in the first place a lot. And this is where it kind of delves into a deeper root though. I know for a lot of people when their mental health is struggling that showering can also kind of go on the back burner. And I get that, I've been there. I believe that it's part of the issue for me. And so the showering can definitely be kind of a twofold thing or a bi-level thing thing where it's like just the act here but you know the kind of underlying reasons why you might have to work on some of those as well to kind of have this piece fall into place too but I do feel like just the romanticizing in general or just having a fun thing to focus on also helped the actions and doing those things together really has helped and it's been a really amazing routine I actually really love showering now I love doing my nighttime showers and having a nice calming smell and even putting on body lotion after I get out of the shower like who even am I I feel like I've definitely just found a way to tackle that and kind of change that in my brain and find a way to make it give me energy and really use it as an act of self-love for myself a true act of self-love that I feel like can sometimes be hard initially but is something that's really um, making my life better and that's how showers have been that also ties me into actually cleaning my face with soap and water now I totally get that depending on the day like it might be easier to use a face wipe or all that but I was finding that most like almost all the time that's all I was doing is using a face wipe I wasn't actually you know washing my face with cleanser and water and and one of the reasons for that is because I just I hate the water getting all over me. You know, it's talked about all the time about how the commercials are alive. They're just like splashing water. It's like, yeah, uh, the water that they splash goes somewhere. All over your clothes, all over your wrists, all on the sink. Like, I just hated how messy it was. I didn't like that feeling. I didn't want to get wet. Like, all of that was something that I had to deal with. But I kind of got to the point where the face wipes just weren't working for me in the sense that they were stinging my skin. They were stinging my eyes. Eyes. I just I it just wasn't working I was like this needs to end um, and again I know for like quick removal or depending on if that works for your life I'm not trying to say that that 
isn't an option if it's working for you, amazing. But I just felt like it wasn't working. It was something I wanted to work on. And so um, I found that really cleaning my face not only has helped my skin feel better and it doesn't have like the stinging like that and just kind of that level, but I also find that that initial cleaning kind of gets the ball rolling for the rest of my skincare. And I found that, you know, some of the other parts of my skincare routine that felt also kind of hard to do are easier to do once I get the ball rolling with cleansing. So I've really loved the Vanilla Co uh, cleansing balm. I picked that up from YesStyle and that has really made a big difference. I'll use that to kind of like take off all of my makeup and then I'll do another cleanse actually to really clean my skin. And again, it just feels so refreshing. Um, it's one of those things that feels really hard, but I feel like is a true self-care moment for myself, taking the time, kind of slowing down at the end of the night and even in the morning as well to take care of my skin because I deserve it and I should take care of my skin and I love myself so I want to do that for myself has been such a great beauty uh, routine <laughs> and such a great moment. It's also helped me mask more if you guys have been here a long time. I was never someone who liked masking. I just didn't have the time for that. I didn't want to do it, all of that. And I've like completely changed my mind. There's so many things beauty wise that I've actually done like a whole 180 on because of just the changes in my life. Like, I don't know if that's just naturals. I think some of that is just natural with time, but I also just think with some of the work that I've been doing, I just have a bigger capacity for some things. And I also just really tapped into my joy of beauty and really have been getting more joy from it than I maybe had been in the past with different things. So definitely cleansing my skin and really focusing on my skincare, even on the nights I don't want to, even on the times that I just don't have the energy. Of course, I'm gentle with myself and I'm not going for perfection and it's okay. I just try to make the best choice I can in those moments and that has been really helpful. Number four in the next few are gonna be a little bit more focused on bigger concepts, but I don't feel like they're as deep in mental health necessarily, we'll see. I feel like by letting go of having to do my makeup in a specific way, Way has really helped me enjoy my makeup so much more and has really let me just actually be creative. And the reason that I say this, and this might have to do with being online a little bit more, but I really feel a lot of pressure and I didn't even realize I had this kind of belief, but to do makeup or to like makeup or whatever, it's like you have to really go for it. You have to do bold color and bold stuff and you have to be like so maximalist in how much you put on your face. And I just have, you know, with time, I think, again, aging and with trends changing, I'm sure that's part of it, but I just haven't wanted to do the makeup I've done in the past. I haven't wanted to do as full on of makeup and that's made me feel like, do I even like makeup? Do I, you know, it just made me question a lot of things and I'm just, I've realized that I just need to let go of that belief because I still love makeup. I love putting on eyeshadow. I love putting on foundation. I love trying things out. I love all of it, but I think by confining myself to like you have to like full coverage or it's not makeup it's like no I can put a little concealer under my eyes spot conceal and still love makeup be a lover of makeup still like the intricacies the little details of what that is and it can still be enough you know what I mean like I can tap one shadow over my eye and that be enough like that there's enough technique in that there's enough choice in that that you know that's still a choice that you're making even if it's simple it doesn't have to be nothing or or like discounted at all. It's just a different way of doing makeup. And I think that has really helped me a lot, kind of removing that it has to be a lot. And one of the things that I've realized is that I keep being like, I only like neutrals. And it's like, I don't only like neutrals. I do like color. I just like doing them in my own way and really embracing that there's no one way to do stuff. And again, like you could put a dot of color here and that's it and that's okay. That can be amazing and you can love that. And like, it doesn't have to to be a ton. Does that make sense? I feel like this Colfi shadow in Chamak Chalo is really what drove that home of like, this is the color I was most attracted to that I wanted and it's stunning. I freaking love this thing. I love using this as like an all over lid shade and that's it. Like it can just be this all over my lid with some mascara, maybe a cute little wing and that's enough makeup for a look. 
You know what I mean? I don't need to add an outer corner or a cut crease or, you know, rhinestones or fake lashes or, you know, a really bold lip to then make it a look. You know what I mean? I hope I'm getting at what was kind of the crux of that, I guess more toxic mindset, but at least for me, and I, I think it's so funny I'm saying this in like a more done up look than maybe I normally do, or at least today I was just feeling this, but um, that has been really great to kind of let go of that and be able to enjoy makeup for whatever it is that I'm wanting to enjoy it and just truly loving that and not feeling like it has to have a caveat or I have to do this or I have to do that. Like what even is that? Who's rules are those what what's going on there so that's been really great and that kind of ties into not being stuck on older trends I don't know if you guys can relate to this but I feel like once you kind of get in your groove you uh, continue to do makeup the way you you've always done it and it's hard to kind of change why you might do something and it can almost be like when trendy things come along like oh I don't want to do that oh I I'm not gonna do that I like the way I've done things things and sometimes that can be true like you don't have to follow trends you can do whatever you want but I feel like there have been a few times specifically with my hair and stuff where I am so glad that I kind of went out of my comfort zone and tried something new and I'm like oh I really actually love the new thing that I'm doing and so in some ways kind of trying out different trends or not being scared to switch things up or try something new out has been really uh, fun and really eye-opening specifically with my middle part like I know this sounds so silly but I just hated a middle part I'm not gonna lie like I there was something about if you're a millennial I think you get it but you always had a side part you're never doing the middle part you know and so it took me a while to like get used to the middle part on me and now I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I kind of like again slowly tried some things out wasn't scared of like changing it up or like not liking something once and I feel like that's been great same with makeup I feel like I used to do a wing all the time then I stopped doing the wing and now I'm back to doing like a little bit of a wing sometimes but it's just so small and delicate and so it's kind of uh, similar to how I used to do things but also kind of the updated version of that for me and what I like now and it is kind of trendy as well and I just wanted to encourage I guess in here that if you're kind of stuck on some older ways and you're just feeling like okay with them Maybe you're not fully satisfied with them, but you just feel a little Apprehension to change to the new thing or the trendy thing or whatever Like just explore it doesn't have to be trendy But maybe by trying that new trendy thing you find the new thing that works for you And that's been really game-changing and amazing for me I believe we're on the sixth one right now and this one goes back to cleaning stuff. Oh my gosh it's so embarrassing but I have to say cleaning my brushes more regularly has been so amazing. This is another one of those things that's just like when you just don't have the energy. Sometimes you just don't have the time, you don't have the energy, you can't be bothered and I get that totally and completely. But I feel like by working on things, by trying to figure out things in my life, which I'm really grateful to have the time and ability to do that. Um, but by doing that, I have been able to give myself a little bit more capacity and every time I take the time and energy to clean my brushes, I am always just so happy. A clean brush is so underrated. It is an amazing feeling, you know, applying shadow with a freshly clean brush. And I know for some of you, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm horrified. I clean my brushes all the time. And that's not who I'm talking about. And I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. That is great. But some of us out here are struggling, okay? <laughs> some of us out here are struggling with cleaning our brushes. And I just want to, again, gently encourage you in a kind way in a loving way that if you are wanting to uh maybe work on cleaning your brushes it feels great it is a moment where you can put on like a podcast whatever it is just take that time for yourself i know that it's work i know that it is time that you could be doing other things but it is so nice it also lets you get to know what brushes you like to use what brushes you're actually using that the things when they're clean that you grab for first it can really get you in touch with that and i've just learned learned that one there's always going to be work like you don't get out of doing work but you can change how you view it and that's really helped again kind of with the romanticizing or just really getting in touch of like what's going to really help me in my life and make me feel good like what are those hard tasks that are going to be that and I feel like cleaning my brushes has been that but I feel like one of the things with like loving my collection and you know really tapping into the passion that is my makeup and beauty collection and just this whole kind of world is that it does take work to keep it 
organized and cleaned and to show it that love in a way, if that makes sense. And putting that time in is always so great. So I love cleaning my brushes now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. And in none of these things am I perfect. Am I doing them necessarily every night? But I've just made really great improvements and I feel like I'm continuously with every choice that I can to either do the thing or not. I'm choosing to do the thing more than I ever have before, if that makes sense. Some of my favorite cleaning products for brushes, I love the Beauty Blender for sponges, but also for cleaning my brushes. And then for spot cleaning, especially more for like eyeshadow brushes and powder products, not like waxy or cream products. In between washes, the Cinema Secrets is really great. And then don't mind this mat, but this mat from Sigma makes it all so easy because if you just use your hand, it can get really irritating on your hand when you're uh, washing all your brushes. So if you have a lot of brushes, I do suggest the mat. It's just so much easier. And it's one of those things that I just didn't think I'd ever enjoy doing. I didn't think I'd ever enjoy it. So I think that is like such a revelation to me. Okay, we're getting to the end here. And this one I hope will kind of tie everything everything up and kind of bring us home in a way but I feel like the seventh thing for me that's really changed my relationship with beauty it's a habit I've changed that I've really enjoyed and what I've worked on is the fact that like I was not using so much of my beauty products before guys I don't know if this is you but I think if you're really struggling with your relationship to beauty and you don't know why you don't like makeup as much as you did before there could be a lot of reasons for that and maybe you've outgrown it maybe it was a fleeting thing for you maybe you just like makeup in a more passive way it's not such a hobby and that's perfectly fine and it's okay to change over time and that could be the reason and I found that I was having a lot of those feelings for a while and I think that some of that had to do with being at home not wearing makeup as much especially for the last couple of years but I had all this makeup and I was still kind of participating in the makeup space in terms of knowing what the launches were but how often was I actually touching and engaging with the makeup. I wasn't. I wasn't putting makeup on as often as I really even thought I was. Like I, I think there was a time where I was like, I'm wearing makeup a lot and I'm like, let's do the map here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. And so I always find when I'm feeling like anxious about the size of my collection or all the products I have or overwhelmed by that or just feeling like negative feelings about the makeup, I realize, oh, I haven't worn makeup in a while. <laughs> I haven't given my Myself the chance to love this stuff in a while and every time I go and do my makeup I remember oh my gosh this is so much fun this brings me so much joy this brings me so much life and so I really hope that if you're feeling in that space and you don't think it's that you're just kind of over makeup maybe taking a look at like how much you're actually you know engaging with the products that you have and what you already own and what you already love um, engaging with that a little bit more taking the time to put that makeup on and have that moment of fun playing with your makeup can be something that maybe brings that spark back and I just know that feeling of when that spark's gone and it's not fun it's really not fun to not have that like passion for something that you once had and again sometimes that passion can just change but if you feel like it's not that maybe that's something to look into more than anything I just know that it definitely has helped me and I've just really been able to find and embrace my love of beauty even more than I did probably before and I touched on this a little bit more recently. These are just the things that I really am dealing with in my personal life, my daily life, that type of stuff. And I'm like bringing them to you in this video, but I really have enjoyed focusing on my passion. And that doesn't mean just spending. It doesn't mean just buying the new stuff. It can be whatever level works for you and is obviously not causing harm to you in terms of finances or in other goals or areas of your life for sure. But really taking a look at how often I'm using my makeup, how often I'm actually applying my makeup how often I'm actually using these things um, has really helped and I talked a little bit about this too with the cluttering and so I'll, I'll touch on it just slightly here but I've also found that some of the anxieties that I was having about having too much stuff or oh I never use this stuff like I should get rid of it by actually using my makeup every day I was able to realize oh I do love it. I just need to use it <laughs> I don't need to clutter this I just need to actually put it on my face like that was so much fun and I love it okay great and then also 
so it can let you know which products maybe you can pass on which products aren't working for you but I feel like sometimes that anxiety wanted an action right and so I would choose a lot of the time the action to declutter only instead of the action of like cleaning or taking care of or using those products and I feel like all of those actions can kind of like help with those feelings but I really find that the using for me gets more to the core of it you know what I mean because I do still like the products and it also helps too when like I see new makeup and I don't necessarily want to buy it just going in my collection swatching around really getting into stuff has been so helpful so I'm gonna end it here but those are the seven beauty habits I guess we'll say that I've changed more recently or in the last like year and a half I've really been working on along with some deeper stuff that has really changed my outlook and I, I just feel like it's made a really big difference it's been a really big positive thing for me and I wanted to share them with you guys so I hope Hope you enjoyed the video if you did I guess give it a like I'm really appreciative of this space where we can talk about beauty products and just talk about this passion and love that we have for them and I'm just so happy you're here so thank you so much for watching I'm gonna leave the video here I hope that I like this I still don't even know if I'm gonna post this to be honest but if you see it then you know I posted it but um, other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye guys